Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, Sara, ¿bien? ¿Y tú? Bien, gracias. ¿Qué tal, Chile? Aquí estamos, con frío. Con frío, Ay, yo me muero de calor. Acá llegamos a 30, 32 grados. Hace oh. calor. No, aquí en Chile es in, is, in, ¿Es uh, invierno. Autumn, autumn. Ah, ya. Yeah. Estamos en, en otoño. Uh, I saw three people here who is joining us. Hello, hello. hello. Today hello. we are, I am with Sara. Hello, Cindy. Hi. Hi. Cindy anda por ahí. Hi, Cindy. How are you? I hope you are taking your breakfast. No, and we are not going to have today special effects with your stomach. <laughs> es que luego dice que no ha desayunado y que tenemos efectos especiales. <laughs> ah, claro. <laughs> Con los ruidos. Entonces, tell no me sé. what you do. hoy vamos a hacer unos tags sencillos, algo sencillito con algunos de los productos de Pentart y con uh, estampería y con, uh, ¿qué más? Ah, unos papeles que les voy a enseñar de ITD, que son de los que me gustan mucho. Por ejemplo, en esta casita que, acabo, que acaban de postear en Pentart. Ahora sí la puedo enseñar, que mientras no lo publican, no lo puedo enseñar. Oh. I, did, I did this birdhouse with... One mold. This is a mold from Mexican brand that I got here. But I used uh, paints and structure paste and papers from ITD. That's beautiful. Uh, antique paste. Mm, and that's it. And I laces. Love, <laughs> I really love the bird house. I have a lot. <laughs> Even here, I have. Maybe two, two bear house in my, in my desk. Pues mira, yo no tengo muchas porque a veces me ocupan mucho espacio, pero esta me gustó. Me gustó la forma que tenía esta casita, que no era la típica cuadrada. Pues me gustó esta y por eso la, la, me puse a decorarla y me sirvió de proyecto para pintar. That's beautiful. Entonces, no sé si me des chance. Este, ¿Estás coordinando las cámaras? Sí. Yes. Hi, Patricia. ¿Cómo estás? <ríe> Hola, Patricia. Entonces, para que me des chance de voltear las cámaras y les enseño los papeles de ITD. Ok. Give me a minute. Ok. No, you can, you can change the camera. Hello from Norway. No quiero que se vean mi tiradero. I don't want to show you my mess. <laughs> <laughs> We always have a mess in our craft room. Ah, ya sé. Ahí. Creo que ahí. Ahí se ve centrado. Ok. Entonces, a ver. Ah. Se ve bien. Allí creo. Ok. Que no se vea tanto, tanto tiradero. <laughs> uh, voy a trabajar con estas dos tags. I'm going to work with these two tags. But first I'm going to show you some papers that I love from ITD collections. This came in sets. You have not just one paper. You are going to get uh, many papers. And that's easy to mix match with these papers because all are from the same collection. Con estos sets está padrísimo porque no tienes que estar buscando cuál hace juego. Ya todos estos papeles que vienen en este set, pues ya todos te van a combinar perfecto. Entonces, si quieren, se los enseño rápido. Esta es una colección que se llama Shabby Chic. Oh, that's beautiful. I love this one, Crackle. These flowers are great. Oh, And faces. So I love faces. That's 
beautiful. I love it. Oh, I love the birds. Sí, están súper bonitos. Mira. Oh, you little birds. This oh. French is beautiful <laughs> with the little bunnies. I love the bunnies. Oh, my goodness. That's yes. Beautiful. And as you have a lot of bunnies, you can use them with the... Oh with a frame or something else and they look so great. The faces also, you can use them with the frames. For, for, for example, this is um, Stamperia mold and you can use these frames. Patricia asked if these are uh, from A4 size? Uh, son tamaño carta. Oh, okay, letter. Mm -hmm. Either size. Son tamaño carta, miren, les voy a enseñar la medida para que le, le calculen. No, no veo que la traiga aquí a la afuera. Ah, no, sí la trae. Uh, 21 by 29.7 millimeters. So it's, 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 uh, it's uh, tamaño carta, letter size. And this is other collection. This is violet collection. One of my and favorite as, flowers. I love it. Love it, love it. Las violetas. ¿Te gustan las yes. violetas? Yes. And these are the papers. And as the other is a set. So you can use any of these papers and the combination is going to be perfect. Wow. I love it. And you have different sizes. For example, these came the, the same papers, but small ones. When we went to to Dallas, Cindy gave us some rice papers from this um, collection. In this collection? Yes. It's beautiful, this collection. Um, so, uh, I cut this two papers when I did the last um, notebook. I don't know if you remember one of the notebooks that I did here, for example, oh, for this one, I used the, these two papers. That's why they are good. One here and one here, but I cover a little bit with a uh, stencil and antique paste and with this bunny. This bunny is also from my TD. It comes in a page like this and a sheet like this, and you can cut the little bunnies. You know, I always I, I always have problems to use the rice papers. I never know how to use it. I take it and I say, uh, where I can put this? And I, I never use the rice papers. Like you, you use a lot of rice paper. Yes, sometimes. I don't like a lot, for example, this kind of rice papers. They are beautiful, but I don't know how to use these big images in, uh, for example, in, uh, in small pieces or this kind. It's like, oh, I'm going to lose this, but this, uh, it's complicated because it has a lot of, of images, images uh -huh, yeah. in the rice paper. These are, for example, from Stamperia. But when you use this kind of papers, it's easier because you can use them as backgrounds. For me, it's easier to use this kind of rice papers. And I love ITD because of the quality. You can see, for example, here, the fibers. These are a little bit thicker than the Stamperia ones. And when you glue this to the surface, you don't have a lot of bubbles or a lot of wrinkles in the rice paper. Sometimes I have, I have, sorry, sometimes have a lot of fever. The rice paper from Stamperia have a, a fever, um, you know, uh, uh, like mucha fibra, como que se nota mucha uh -huh. fibra. Uh -huh. Yes. Pero, for example, you can see the fibers here. But here you can not see the the little piece of fibers, mm -hmm. so it's easier. 
Oh, just remember that when you use rice papers, your background has to be white or kind of that because it's going to be better the the paper. For example, if when you use it on the and the base is MDF, you can see the MDF and when you use a white background, for example, like this, the colors is like pop. <laughs> yes, yes, you, we always must, must paint before use the rice paper or with a background in white or, or clear colors. Mm -hmm. And for example, with this one, is is easier to use these little images to do something like this. You can use a little image and you can paint in the 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 surface and then you can use crackles or antique paste or anything and the image is going to be good. Yes, I love it. Oh. Nos están mandando que oh. desde Chile. Hola Susana, ¿cómo estás? Hola, hola. Ah, Elizabeth, agree with me. Yes. Yes. Honestly, this is one of my favorite brands to work with rice papers. The ITD collections are so beautiful. And for people from US, you can find this kind of paper, this brand with Cindy. So it's, you have to, to open the 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 website and you are going to see a lot of papers some of them are in separate sheets but some of them that came in this kind of sets are easy to work because you can mix much with this with the whole collection and this is going to be good so okay. i'm going to work today with as they are small ones, I'm going to do two, uh, um, two tags. Okay. If not, we're going to finish in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I will hacer dos tags porque están pequeñitas. Entonces voy a empezar con el acrylic primer. Este primer está padrísimo. Es un primer de Pentart. Uh, queda muy blanco y ya puedes empezar a trabajar con la superficie cuando aplicas este primer. Okay. You can use this primer. Also, if you have the Stamperia one, you can use the primer or you can use the gesso. I love this prime because you can use it on, uh, this is from the molds. You mold, you make the molds with resin and then mm -hmm. you put, you put the, this um, uh, primer in the paint works too much better. Yes. For example, with I'm going to show you. When you have resin molds, and you apply the paint to this kind of resin molds without a primer, maybe the paint is going to fall. So if you apply the primer first, the, the paint is going to be in your mold, and not in, uh, in, the, in other place. And you can work with this kind of molds with the primer. So yes. you can see the difference when you use the primer on with no primer. Estamperia and Pentar paints are so good. And some people I know that may, sometimes they don't use um, primer with resin pieces, but for me, the best is to use first the primer and then anything that you want. Les digo que pueden usar este, el primer. Primero algunas personas luego no usan el primer. Muchas veces cuando son piezas que no van a estar tocando y rascando, tallando, y aplican la pintura directa para mí, para que no se absorba, para que se adhiera bien, primero uso el primer y ya después el, el, 
la pintura o lo que quiera usar de medio. Yo siempre prefiero usar primer, aunque no, lo, no tenga roce, porque a veces se sale la pintura sobre los resinas. Se bota. Uh -huh. oh, and stone paper. As I know, no. You don't need the primer with the stone paper. I used, for example, uh, in the Dallas reunion, the last Dallas reunion, I attend a so, uh, workshop with um, Alda, and we work with stone paper, and we don't use primer. We only apply the um, what we I apply I apply aqua color from. From Stamperia. And with no primer. And have a lot of difference? Se veía bien sin tener que usar el primer. Déjame ver si lo tengo por acá. Hola, Sandrita. Mm. For example, in this project, we did this in the last Dallas reunion in September, last September. And this is um, uh, stone, stone paper. paper. Mm -hmm. And this is also stone paper. And we don't use primer. We apply the paints and all the things that we used, but without the, without the primer. We only use them. Uh, let me try. I have a lot of drawers here with all my stuff. <laughs> and sometimes <laughs> it's complicated for me to use everything and and to don't lose <laughs> my things in the desk. No te pasa que se te pierden las cosas en el escrito. Y dices, pero si aquí lo tenía, lo puse a la mano. <laughs> es que hay un duende, un duende que es real, que te esconde las cosas de los vivos. Yo ya estoy convencida. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. This is a little piece of cardboard, and I'm going to cut this because I'm going to glue here uh, one of the images of the as the rice paper sets. So. Y tenía otras tijeras, pero ahorita las acabo de perder. <laughs> <laughs> Pues te digo que siempre me esconden las cosas. Y se acaba el live y claro, todo empieza a aparecer. You know, almost two years ago, I made a live in Stamperia, one of my first lives in Stamperia. Uh -huh. And I lost a, a, a stamp from Alice in Wonderland. You know, and I'm so sad my, why I lost my, my stamp, I lost my stamp. And, you know, one week ago, I'm uh -huh. taking some papers from a box and the stamp was sticky behind the the the, um, the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I found two years later. And really? <laughs> yes. And it was behind a, a bag, behind. And I never saw it. I never. And I'm so happy because I don't like to have and complete my my set uh -huh. from any stamp. And now it's complete again. <laughs> that happened to me with the um, dice. 
I have some dice oh. when I cut my my flowers. I use dice from C6. And and others that I have from Lady E. And they used to to be in the back of the paints or in the back of anything and I lose them. It's like oh, really again <laughs> where yeah. is my die? And I don't want to have my sets incomplete because sometimes you need uh, all the sizes of the flowers to do one flower. So it's like ah <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I, I sometimes I lost one of my sets of die cuts or uh, three leads. ¿Cómo se llaman? Los, los die cuts se llaman? Uh-huh. Uh, Los die? Yes. Oh, it's, it's so terrible because we always use one of these. And you, you, you can have five from this different size, but you always have one favorite. Yes. And this is is what we lost it's frustrating and sometimes so i spend a lot of time trying to find the, the things that i that are lost so it's like ah. <laughs> oriana dice que uf, ni les cuento lo que encontrado organizando su craft room yes she told us uh, she found a lot of things uh, put order in her craft room <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm making the same thing that you would make in, put order in my craft room. And you know, I found this stamp that I lost two years ago. ¿Cómo puedes tener las uñas pintadas haciendo esto, how you can have a beautiful nails making crafts? Ah, because I paint my nails last night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, haciendo esto, mis uñas siempre son un desastre. Ay, y va, va, Traigo gesso adentro ah. de las uñas o pintura. I have uh, sometimes gesso or paint in the back of the nails. And sometimes it's like, oh, I'm going to go to a restaurant and my nails are a mess. <laughs> yes, I give up. I never paint it again from the last, the last, uh, I use, uh, you know, nail, nail, me, me pinté las uñas, como se dice? Uh -huh. I paint my nails. Yes, uh, it was in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And I said, no more, no more, because... I paint and then uh, I work in my craft room and that's a disaster. Yes, I paint my nails last night, so <laughs> I don't have the nails like this all the time. Okay. As it's Easter. For example, I admire Kerenza's nails. <laughs> oh, yes. She have a, a beautiful hands. You know, a long she fingers. She always has the perfect nails. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, uh, I don't want to put all the paper. But for me, it's complicated to have large nails or good or beautiful ones. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, Oriana, for example, she has like, nails like, ah, <laughs> I can't do anything with that kind of nails anymore. <laughs> So I'm going to use this one, and from the other set, I'm going to use flowers for the other tag. Maybe this one. Okay. So just as you can see, it's very very easy to cut them. 
the rice paper just with a little bit of water. And when you use the water, uh, it looks more natural. And yes. not the, how can I explain? With the scissors, it's a... It's like this. When you do this and you try to glue this, you are going to have this line and this yes. line is going to be very difficult to cover. So exactly. if, you, if you do this, the fibers, you can get them as this and Looks they are going, this is most, more natural. So what, that's why I'm cutting with the brush and water. Hello from Montreal. Who is in Montreal? La mia. So let's put this. And oh. it's so beautiful. Love it. And also, I'm going to choose a paper from the shabby collection that is going to be glue in the tag. Let me see which paper. Maybe this one. We can use this one uh, here. So I'm going to use this one. Okay. Mi hija no sé. Mi hija no sé qué están haciendo ruido, pero se escucha un ruido. Uh, in the second floor, my daughter maybe is cleaning her room. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can don't I don't listen to noise, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's like when my husband has some calls and he, when he's working here at the house. It's like, shh, <laughs> and I have a life. He speaks very, very loud. So <laughs> when, he, when he's working, everyone can hear his, his conversations. <laughs> can you hear? Uh, yes. <laughs> Someone is knocking. <laughs> And I'm going to use this. You know, and, one of my daughters is deaf. She can't hear. So uh -huh. when we want to speak with her, you must send a WhatsApp or uh, uh, the lights. Uh -huh. click, click the lights. And, and, and this is the only way that he can put attention. Oh, yeah. Entonces, mi hija es sorda. Eh, tiene una Entonces, cuando queremos llamarla o hablar con ella, tenemos que mandarle un WhatsApp o prenderle uh -huh. las luces, prenderla y apagarla, porque la única manera que ella pueda escuchar, pueda vernos para, para uh -huh. hablar con ella. Entonces, creo que algo tiene que, mi hija tiene que estar buscándola y no y debe estar sin el teléfono. Yeah. Maybe, maybe my, other, my other daughter needs to talk with her and and she's knocking very high the, the, the door. As you can see, I'm gluing the rice paper and I don't have bubbles, I don't have wrinkles. That's why I love this uh, kind of um, quality of these papers. And here. Oh, 
I'm going to use this as, this is, um, I didn't tell you, this is the decoupage varnish and glue, and this is also from Pentart. But if you have, for example, Colabello, or you can get a uh, matte finish, or you have um, mixed media glue from Stamperia, you can have glossy finish. But with Pentart, you have this, this one, that is decoupage varnish and glue matte, and also you have other one that is decoupage varnish and glue, and it's glossy. So they are two different kind of of glues. I don't know if I don't know to use of the right way, but uh, the other day I tried to work with the colabello, and it don't works to me. I put two two times twice of. Um, Colabello and I can't taste it. I don't know why. I maybe I made something wrong. With Colabello, the problem is that it's um very liquid mm -hmm. and it dries so fast. So, mm -hmm. for example, as you can see, uh, with the with the Pentark one, I apply in all the surface and I glue all the paper. With Colabello. The thing that I did is that I apply in a little place, I glue that piece of paper and apply again, and I glue this piece, this piece and I apply again, and I glue this piece, because if not, you apply to all the surface, and when you try to glue, the paper is not going to stay in the surface. Okay. That's what I do. I don't know if other people have the same problem, but for me, it's better to glue a little piece and glue and the, and buy parts. Okay. Yo no sé si les pasa a todas con el cola velo. A mí lo que me pasa es eso que está muy líquido y se seca muy rápido. Entonces, claro. tienes que usar muchísimo pegamento. Y no puedes aplicar en una superficie muy grande porque se te despega. Entonces yo lo que voy haciendo es que voy pegando por partes un pedacito y pego, un pedacito y pego, un pedacito y pego. Y así lo hago todo. Ok. Este, por ejemplo, si tú lo ves, el, um, el pegamento que acabo de usar está más espeso. It's thicker, this kind of glue, the Pentart one. So, for me, it's better this one. Okay. I hope Omar is not listening. <laughs> But for me, the, it's better this kind of glue than the Stamperia one. Sorry. <laughs> I... Por ejemplo, el Mix Media Glue, ese pega mejor, pero lo mismo, ¿eh? Incluso alguna vez que tomé un taller con Anthony, era así como de por partes. When I uh, uh, attend um, Anthony's workshop once in Mexico City, it was the same with the Mix Media Glue. We glued a little piece and then we apply again the mix media and uh, and like we glue the other piece of the paper and it's because it, the mix media glue is thicker than the other one that the colabello but it dries so fast also i always use the, the craft glue i i really i i enjoy to use the craft glue from stamperia yeah. that's other choice You can use the, the craft glue. Mm -hmm. I prefer. And 
I'm going to apply the varnish again. The same glue, but now it's as varnish. I have some jars with the glossy one, but honestly, I prefer the matte finish. I always prefer the matte. The matte finish is more elegant. For me, it's better. I don't know. But for example, when you apply the mixed media glue, and then you apply um, this, when uh, antique paste from Samparia didn't exist, uh, I took uh, the workshop with Anthony's, and he used to use this one, the this oil color, the Van Dyke Brown. Honestly, this color is, for me, is more beautiful than the vintage antique paste. And when you use um, the mixed media glue and then you use this one, the, um, the effect is not glossy, it's uh, matte. Let okay. me show you. I have here one project with that one. I did this one with that technique. Uh, mixed media glue, I apply the mixed media glue up and down, and then I apply this one. Okay. I have this one, I don't know, five years ago, <laughs> honestly, because I, I use this one with turpentine, so I only have one. <laughs> oh. Uh, and I apply this one, and as you can see, it's not glossy, it's matte. Yes, it's matte finish. Yes. Entonces, les estaba contando que alguna vez tomé un, un taller con Antonis cuando todavía no existía la Antique Paste, y él usaba esa, eh, él, él usó esa en, en ese taller. Eh, la verdad es que ya la tengo desde hace muchos años y con muy poquitito, como lo disuelves en aguarras, con muy poquitito ya tienes el, el efecto que quieres. Y este y aunque hayas usado primero el, el Mix Media Glue, que es brillo, brillante, al momento de usar esta pasta, este, este eh, óleo, el efecto queda mate. Queda muy bonito. I love it. Sí, me gusta. Yo, yo, yo me acostumbré con la, con la vintage antique paste. I love it. I use it in, in all my uh, projects and I mix it with oil baby and uh -huh. it works really good. I love it. I, I enjoy it to work with the antique paste from Anthony's. Es que, bueno, se va uno acostumbrando, pero tengo que yo como tomé ese primer taller y usé esta, híjole, no, la taller. verdad es que me enamoré de ella. Y <ríe> yo no me compré la antique, la antique Paste y la verdad es que la he usado algunas veces, pero no, no me convence. Dice, I just tried the, the Pentas de Copage Glue and it's great to work with Yes. This is acrylic paint. This is titan white. This is also from Pentart, but you can use um, ivory or any other uh, paint from Allegro Colors. You know, my favorite Allegro uh, color is the milk white. I love I the milk white. I use this one a lot. I ask for a new jar, but it's bigger than this one that I have right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have the Allegro colors, but honestly, I don't use them so much. Oh, I use it a lot. Because all my lives with the other brand are, <laughs> are uh, much, are, are more frequently. La verdad es que ya no uso tanto las pinturas alegro, porque pues la verdad es que tengo más lives con Pentat que ya con estampería, entonces mis pinturas de estampería están por ahí en el olvido. <risa> ah, no, yo las uso muchísimo. 
todos mis, todos mis, mis trabajos son Ajá. en base a, a los productos de estampería, así que me acostumbré a las alegro. Y tú Ajá. sabes, yo tengo pinturas guardadas de años de Martha Stewart. I have a lot of paints from different brands, from Martha Stewart, from, eh, eh, you know, eh, Cadence. Eh, But that's not Martha. good to take. Keep them in the, in the drawers because if you open them, they are going to be dried and yes. you're going to cry. Yes, yes. But I prefer to use the Allegro because uh, if the people who saw my my videos, yes, uh, they ask, which yes. color do you use? Yes, yes, and it, it makes a problems in the life, so I prefer the, the Allegro. Yes, I know. Se está sacando un poco ya la pintura. No pinta completo, pero bueno. Mm -mm. La tapa. Bueno, si allá hace calor, se te seca rápido. Aquí hace sí, frío. Es todo, todo se me seca súper rápido. Entonces, a veces tengo que trabajar así de, ah, rapidísimo. <risa> Porque todo se me seca muy rápido. Y ahorita está haciendo mucho calor, entonces sí, la verdad es que todo se seca súper rápido. I don't know which color I'm going to paint this one, maybe pink color. Uh. This is... Um, Cherry blossom color. This is. It's a beautiful color. It's a pastel color. Yes. It's. I have a lot of colors. And I love this kind of line because it's chalky. So the finish is matte. Okay. You know, every time I make a life, I use different brushes. And when uh -huh. it ends, I must wash almost 10 brushes oh. from different size. If you can I see, here I have all the brushes that I used yesterday because I use one brush with each uh, product or with each paint. So last night I was, uh, before I paint my nails, <laughs> I was washing all the brushes that I used in the project that I'm doing for Pentart. <laughs> yes, I have the so, same. One of my addictions are brushes. <laughs> And yes, I was uh, washing all of them. Es complicado a veces trabajar con un solo pincel. Yo no puedo. Y yo tengo que estar cambiando mi agua. Entonces, claro. este, cuando alguna vez dijo Antonio, es que yo tengo seis meses sin cambiar el agua. Dije, no, o sea, ¿cómo puedes? Yo no puedo. Yo todos los días tengo que cambiar mi agua. <risa> se pone de onda. Se junta bacteria la, 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 las pinturas. No, se... y, y combinas los colores o se ensucias los colores o simplemente, bueno, al menos aquí el agua que yo uso uh, viene de garrafón. I have to use, for example, for my... For the water that I use to clean my brushes and everything, it's not from the from the house, it's from the bottles. Because if not, they are going to, the, the paints are going to smell really, really bad. Yes. And I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to use here with the bunny, the fine line crackle is this one. This is a fine line crackle varnish. This is two steps component. You have to use first the white one and then this one. The effect that you are going to get is like in the notebook that I show you. This is the kind of crackles that you can get with this product. 
And then you can use uh, antique pastes to, uh, to be inside the crackles. Entonces ahorita voy a usar un, un producto que es el, el Fine Line Crackle. Y lo voy a usar para esta, ¿ok? Entonces, la manera de aplicar, bueno, de cómo yo lo aplico es así, de, arriba, de abajo hacia arriba. Tiene que quedar blanco. This, is, que... this product is the same crackle vetro from Stamperia? Because I have this product and I never use it because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> But Stamperia has a good one that is the crackle crackle paste and it's um one step i yes. don't know if temperia has the two steps yes uh, they, they have the the two two step and the crackle uh, paste i have both but i never use the crackle vetro from uh, two steps the, when you have the two steps The key is that you have to wait a lot of time uh, between the two components. And maybe if you have an electric oven or you can get your um, pieces to the kitchen that it's warmer, the cracks are going to be better. Okay. You must let it dry alone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... So I use the first step that is this one and I have to wait and then I'm going to use the second step that is this one. Okay. okay. These are the two products that I use with the with the bunny. Yes, this is the product that I have. This oh. <laughs> and the And this is from Stamperia? Yes, two steps, but I never use it. I think that the uh, that you can use in this way. Okay. And right now I'm going to use another paint. I used to use first the white one and then other paint that is the this one deco decor chucky that is more like a cream paint Y la verdad es que yo no tengo ese de estampería, no sé bien bien cómo funciona. No sé si hay algún tutorial de muchos de los productos de estampería, ellos solían poner, antes no, no he visto ahora, solían poner como el paso a paso de cómo usarlos. Entonces esos esos este esos tutor, mini tutoriales de dos minutos a veces son súper prácticos porque te dicen el paso a paso de cómo usarlos. Claro. Bueno, las que están viendo el martes va a haber un vivo con, con Scrap Boys para que lo vean. No estoy segura la hora porque, claro, como hay que pasar de hora de Chile, hora de México, pero el martes en Ajá. la tarde habrá un, un vivo para las personas que quieran venir a Dallas y él va a estar ahí con, con Marius, ¿no? ¿Mm? So you can watch the if you are interested to go to the Dallas Union this year on Tuesday you are going to well Cindy is going to have a live with Marius so just check the time
as this is drying, I'm going to use here that this is the one that is already dried. Another product that is the deluxe paste. Maybe the frame is going to be here. So here I'm going to use a stencil. I have a binder with all my stencils. Wow, oh, I made a, a little, uh, hizo una repisa para poner mi, mis stencils porque eran un desastre y quedaron súper bien. Sí, algunas veces es mejor tener un, una carpeta para tener todo porque si no, luego se me pierden. <laughs> and here I'm going to use this uh, stencil. This is from Stamperia. And if you want the code, is this one. KSTDL61. And with this paint, this is from Pentar. This is the Lux paste. And as you can see, it shines a little bit. I'm going to use this, but with a brush. It's thicker, so you can use this one as, as this. Or if you want, you can use the spatula. And you can do this. This is the look space. You can find this the look space in different colors. They are uh, blue, brown, uh, uh, green, and other colors. And I don't know if you can see the stencil. Yes, looks great. It shines. So as you can see, the paint is perfect for this kind of effects. So let me clean a little bit the, the stencil. Always must clean the stencil mm -hmm. <laughs> after you sit, because if you don't clean it, it, it lose, lost her, his definition. Yes. So let me clean the stencil. Because if not, I don't... I have another one. Pentart sent me some products from Stamperia last week, but it's better to clean your stencils. Yes, always, always. Mm -hmm. If you have two same stencils, you can use one for the, the paste and the other for the paints. And yes, that's a good idea. Yes, I prefer to, to clean everything. Yes, always, always. Sometimes it doesn't, it's not perfect, but I try. <laughs> I, do, I try to do my best cleaning the stencils. So with this one, I'm, I'm working with both. With this one, I'm going to do some lines. The only thing that you have to do with this one is that it's no. Mejor déjame ponerlo a los lados. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
And as I'm going to use the violet, let me use this color. Maybe this is going to be good for this. I love that they look spaced. <laughs> and they look so good with the yes. stencil. Yes. The, you have, if you have the heavy body paste from Stamperia, have the same effect. Mm -hmm. Yes. The heavy body has the same glossy effect. This color is like I don't I don't know if you can see, but it's like pearl color. So it's not just glossy; it has a little bit of color. Let me see if I have uh, another tape that it's because I think I have this one. I don't know if you can find this kind of tapes in other countries, but they are very common here in Mexico. ¿Es la cinta de carrocero que se le llama o masking tape? Ajá, aquí le dicen masking tape. Son muy fáciles acá de encontrar, entonces, cuando claro. quieres eh, trabajar con, con pinturas, pues es muy fácil conseguir estas en las lapalerías y en las tiendas. Ah, ya ves, dice Patti que ya es hora de sacar pinturas que tiene guardadas. Sí, es que a veces las guardamos y pues no está padre porque luego cuando las sacas ya están secas. Sí. You leave a little, a fine line between the, the tapes. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's it. Oh, that's beautiful. And with the paint that left, I can paint the borders. See, this says, love the stripes. And they are so easy. You don't need a stencil or anything, just pieces of tape and... A little bit of patience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And that's it. The color that I use here is the blackberry. And oh, it's also from Pentac. And they have, for example, these kind of paints that are acrylic paints, matte. 
but I love to use these ones, the chalky ones, because the, the matte finish is better with these ones. Okay. So here I'm going to glue this, but as I have the, the stripe, I'm going to cover a little bit the stripe and then I'm going to glue this one. Ah, oh, okay. Because I don't want to see the stripe behind behind the rice paper. Yes. Aside. Okay. Like this. Let me dry and try to cover again. That's why someone, <laughs> some sometimes uh, people ask me for tutorials, but when I work, honestly, I can't. Uh, record everything because sometimes I work with many steps. So for me, it's complicated to record step by step all the things that I do with uh, some projects. I have the same problem. Always the people want the tutorials, but really sometimes if you have a tutorial, you must record and then you have to, um, you know, um, put in the program and select the better parts and, oh, you know, it's really a lot of work to make up tutorials. Yes, I can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's bad, I know, <laughs> but honestly, it's very, very complicated to, to record everything and to put them in one minute. All the things that you do, it's it's complicated. Yeah. I prefer to do this kind of little uh, videos, one hour, and then you can see all the process. For me, it's much better to do this. And you can learn a little bit more. <laughs> Someone is knocking again. I don't know why are they doing really. <laughs> I will send a, a, a WhatsApp. I... Maybe she needs something. <laughs> No, but it's not here. It's in the second floor. And as you can see, as I cut the the paper with uh, with the brush and water, you can cover all the borders, and that's it. They say so again? they are cleaning the her room, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what are you going to find later in the room. Yes. And with this one, maybe only we can use uh, stamps. Remember that uh, Stampria has a lot of stamps. I bought this one, I think, with uh, in the last on the last reunion. Hi, that's beautiful. I don't have this one. 
it was an it was old i think i don't know from which collection is this one um oh, if you want the code the code is wtkcc166 i don't know if it's must be in house the market. of roses it's hmm? a, it's a, an old collection the house of roses i think i don't remember which collection and you can use the the stamps in the tags i have a lot of stamps stamperia sent me some stamps from joanna's collection hi it's beautiful but um, i don't use them too much <laughs> Ahorita no encuentro mi, mi acrílico. Ah, ya lo encontré. Bueno, no quedó bien marcado porque no tenía mi, mi acrílico. Estaba escondido. Ya lo encontré. Pero este es mejor usar el acrílico para poder uh, como oprimir bien, sobre todo estos, porque tienen aquí como, están como pegajosos. Sí, sí, son como para ponerlos sobre los acrílicos. Los... Ajá, uh, ajá. I didn't find my uh, acrylic square. But if you have this, it's better to use the acrylic one and try to, to stamp. And always uh, remember to, to clean the stamps. But when you have these ones, only may, maybe you can use uh, the old-fashioned ribbons with uh, maybe the green one. Or which one? This. And you can do a bow. Encuentro el, la punta. I don't find here. You can do the, the, the little bow here. And do something like this. And that's it. It's easy. But for example, for this one, it's already dried. And I'm going to apply the step two. As you can see, it's not white anymore. When you apply the first uh, component, the image is like white. You can see the image because it turns white. But when the first component is dried, you are going to see again the image. The component uh, turns transparent. And then you apply the second one. That it's the this, the second step. I, I believe that with the Stamperia, um, bottles that you have the steps are, have to be the same you apply the first one dries and then you apply the second one okay and as you can see the the look space that i applied previously as i told you this is uh, the pearl color es un color perla y ya está seco seco muy rapidísimo And then you can glue this here. And with this one, I don't know if you want to use, uh, for example, the, the waxes, or you can use um, antique paste. Or for example, with, uh, with Pentart, we have this kind of antique paste, or also you have the antiquing gels. These gels are like um, the Anthony's uh, pastes, because they are water-based. You don't need uh, turpentine as with the, with the oil-based based paste. You can just apply them. If you don't want the look that it 
turns, you can clean with water again. And I'm going to show you. It's like this. Okay. It's right. It's not uh, wet, the piece of fabric, and you can clean the excess, and you can get the old look. Um, for example, with uh, with Stamperia, I don't remember how many colors you have. Um, it's uh, the blue, the red, and other colors. With Pentart, they have uh, eight colors. The Umbra, the it's there's a white one, uh, ochre one. There is a uh, this is brown. The Umbra is dark is darker color. They also have a uh, blue patina, a uh, green color. So you can get a lot of effects with these gels. The ones that I used more is the ochre, this brown, and the white one. Les digo que de pentar lo que tienen para hacer, para vejentar, son estos geles que son parecidos a los de estampería, nada más que los colores son diferentes. Está muy bonito ese color, me gusta mucho. Sí, está bonito. Digo que hay otro que es el umbra, pero el umbra está... Para mi gusto está muy oscuro. Ese está un poco más, más claro. Entonces, si no te gusta el acabado, lo que lo único que haces es aplicar agua y este y seguir limpiando, se retira más fácil. Claro. Incluso si lo que hiciste, lo que avejentaste es una superficie plana y tú aplicas el agua, casi se retira por completo. Entonces, no necesitas este, no necesitas otro producto para retirarlo o así. I'm just going to paint the corners of the borders with the same brush. And as you can see, my, my brushes are, are very old <laughs> when I apply this kind of gels. And let me see if I can dry the crackle paste as I can show you how the crackles look. Um, this is going to be the other one. Let me try to dry this one. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. I hope you are enjoying this. Maybe they are easy ones, but maybe you can take the ideas and do bigger projects. As some, as I told uh, Cindy, the crackles take their time. Sometimes I can show you the crackles during the lives, but I'm going to take some pictures as it dries, and I'm going to show you then later the crackles that I'm going to get here. And just for the final steps, we can glue this to the frame 
As you can see, this frame was made with clay. <coughs> Sometimes here is complicated to get the soft clay, so honestly, I use dust. You know, I use a lot of uh, ceramic. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I prefer the cold ceramic because it's more easy to work. Uh-huh. The problem is it shrinks a lot. Mm -hmm. If you don't want it shrinks, you must use a resin or 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 yes or ceramic powder. Uh huh. It's like this. Oh, I love it! It's adorable. Uh, to glue, I use the express glue from Pentad, but you can also use the um, extra forte. From Stamparia. And for example, for this one, I have uh, maybe the same ribbons. This is the um, SAM 06 aquarels. And you can use the, the ribbons here. Always the ribbons. The ribbons sometimes make the difference <laughs> yes. with the projects you are doing. And you can use this kind of ribbons or maybe a pink one. <laughs> These ribbons, I love them because they came in different they come in different colors. So it depends on the color that you want, and you can choose the color and then glue to the to your project or glue I don't know it's like uh, you have many choices yes so, that's beautiful I love the, that, the old ribbon are that's beautiful. great because you can choose between different different choices that uh, Cindy have so that's it these are the ideas that I want to show you today. And I hope you enjoyed it. And that's it. Pues esto era lo que les quería enseñar hoy. Um, les enseñé algunas de las cosas que se pueden hacer. Las pastas, los, las pinturas y todo. Digo que aquí se va a tardar un poquito en craquelar. Ya después cuando craquela, las mejores, los productos que se usan para, para poner los craquelados son estas, las antic pastes, no las, las ceras. Las ceras son más bien como si quieren poner brillos en la parte de encima, pero para poner en los craquelados, estas son las que se pueden usar. Y, y también pintar tienen diferentes colores, tienen desde eh, blanco, tienen... Uh, el café, el umbra y tienen dorados, entonces vienen en diferentes colores. So if you want to use with the crackles, uh, to that the crackles uh, to, that you want them to appear, you can use this kind of paste, not the waxes, the antique paste. And with pentart, for example, you can find them in different colors: the gold, the umbra, white, or different colors. And the effects that you can get. Are like this. I use here, for example, this one, the Umbra one. Beautiful. I love it. Pues sería todo, Sarita. ¿Quieres cambiar la cámara? Quieres, si quieres. Déjame la cámara, entonces. Ya, te espero para que cambie la cámara. You can change the camera. I really love the The tags are beautiful, and I really enjoy it. The live with you today. Ay, es que no se ve todo mi tiradero. <risa> El espacio. Ay, sí. Es que aquí ya tengo, tengo un mueble, pero voy poniendo ahí lo que estoy usando para hacer mis proyectos y entonces ya se ve así, wow, se ve que se va a desbordar. Sandra asking if uh, are selling the paste and the paint with uh, from Pentart. I know that uh, Cindy is um, 
getting some of the products that I recommend here in the lives. So that's why I'm using Pentart because uh, she is a step by step, but she is, is um, having in the store uh, some of the products from Pentart. Honestly, the catalog from Pentart is very, very big. It's huge. I receive products um, every, each, every six months, and I don't have all the colors and all the products. It's impossible to have everything. But uh, Cindy is getting all as uh, uh, step by step some of the these products that I show you during the lives. Okay, she says I don't have the paints yet, but uh, I have the rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Cindy. Thank you for being here. Okay. Thank you so and much, Blanche. Have a nice and... weekend. Okay. The same Vacations. for you. <laughs> Las vacaciones se terminaron. Mañana regresan los chamacos a la escuela. Entonces, aprovechen su domingo. Oh. <laughs> Holidays finished here in Mexico. Uh, and kids are going to, I are going back to school tomorrow. So, enjoy your Sunday. Thank you for watching, for joining us. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye.